So Chipotle just recently shared the recipe for their guacamole. So what I did is I ran out to the store and grabbed everything so that I can show you guys how to make Chipotle's guacamole. And then when you bring the food home, smother it in your guacamole that you just made and you don't have to pay extra for guacamole, all right? So anyway, this is a, an upcharge item. Sometimes uh, I think some of the burrito places charge you extra if you want guacamole because it's so expensive. So come on in close. I'll show you the simple ingredients. It's a really simple recipe. I was almost shocked when I saw the recipe. Uh, it's not a lot of ingredients. Uh, I kind of like it that way. Um, I know Jack Jr. is work, working at Chipotle right now, but I don't ask him for any recipes um, because it's his job. I don't want to do that. So I saw this publicly printed that we can do it now and I'm going to try it out. All right. Okay, here we go. We got cilantro. We got some avocados that are ripe. We have some lime juice. We have a jalapeno. We got red peppers that are already chopped up that I had from another recipe I did with you guys. And we have some salt. And that's it. So let's uh, get it all going and try it out. Okay guys, I got everything measured out. You guys ready? Now remember, mise en place, the French term means everything in place. Never start your mixtures or your cooking or your recipe until everything's measured out to where you want it, okay? So we're gonna be starting with uh, obviously avocados. It is our base. So let's uh, put that in the middle there. We have the meat from two avocados in here. We have the jalapenos. This is a small recipe, by the way. You'll probably want to double this or triple this even, but I'll have the single recipe. It doesn't have a lot of jalapenos or onions or anything. Okay, so I have some stuck in there. So I'm gonna use the lemon juice really quick to rinse it out and get those seeds. I want, I want all the goodness of the jalapenos in there. There we go. That worked out perfect. All right. Our onions and cilantro. There we go. We got everything in there but salt, right? A little bit of salt in there. There we go. Give it a good smash. Good mix. Now, Jack Jr. is not here right now, but I'm going to ask him how close this is to the real deal. I have tasted the real deal, so I know. So I'm going to have him be honest. Tell him if it tastes like it or not. So there you go. That's what it looks like right there. All right, let's see what he has to say. Okay, call Jack Jr. Calling Jack Scalfany Mobile. He is not answering. All right, so when Jack Jr. gets home, I'm going to ask him if this recipe is close. I'm not going to ask him to approve it or give me the recipe, but I want to know, is this recipe close to the one he makes at the restaurant Chipotle? All right, but uh, I'm pretty excited about this. Let's give it a try. It's all mushed together. Probably could be mushed better, but it's all, I'll save some for him to try. Here we go. Oh, it's, it's hotter than Chipotle's. Okay. If you don't want it so hot, leave some of the seeds out. But basically, the only thing different between Chipotle's and this is this has more crunch. Because it has fresher onions and cilantro. It hasn't been sitting around all day like a Chipotle. This tastes really good. And it's really hot. I love it. So if you like hot guacamole, leave your seeds in. If you don't like hot guacamole... Leave the seeds out, okay? 
This is definitely a home run. I love this recipe. I would totally, di I'm going to dip into this for a little bit and try this some more, but this is really, really good. All right. Have fun with that recipe. Let me know what you think. All right. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.